Let's go back in time real quick, seven years ago to 2017. On January 12th, Nintendo hosted a big event, probably one of their biggest events of all time. After coming off of a very disappointing launch of the Wii U with very low sales through all of its games and software, it wasn't looking great for Nintendo. But Nintendo had all their hopes and all their eggs into this last basket for the Nintendo Switch. This was the console that they really needed to succeed. And of course, having this giant giant presentation in January let us know everything that we needed to know about Nintendo's big stellar new console and it was one of the best presentations of all time. Nintendo revealed so much about the console, literally diving deep in cool animations about what the console could do and what made it so special with its portability and obviously utilizing the dock for televisions. And then it obviously had the games. It showed so many games to us that day, like the giant reveal of Super Mario Odyssey, of Mario popping out of that manhole cover and running through what looked like downtown New York. It was a feeling that most Mario fans will never forget. The sound effects, the music playing, everything was just perfect. This was the next big 3D Mario game. They revealed 1-2 Switch, which for better or worse was kind of interesting to watch these strangers on TV move around and dance around with Joy-Con in their hands, but yeah, it was just weird and it had that Nintendo charm to it, even though the game wasn't that great. Do you remember the trailer for ARMS, a brand new IP for Nintendo? I mean, it's been so long since we've seen Nintendo dive into a new IP era, and man, it was actually very crazy. A fighting game with tons of original characters and it was just like what is this we were finally getting a new series and it felt awesome i remember the reveal of splatoon 2 and we just knew it was going to happen eventually due to the massive success already just on the wii u alone so seeing splatoon 2 on the switch was just your dream come true. You know, as someone who just immediately fell in love with the franchise, this was so good to see that it would be coming. And not only is it coming, but year one of Nintendo Switch, literally that summer. It was so amazing. I'm sure the entire world was losing their minds over Splatoon making its grand return. After a whopping seven years since the original Xenoblade on Wii, and just two years after Xenoblade X on the Wii U, Nintendo announced Xenoblade 2, a direct follow-up of the first game all the way back seven years ago and they showed a brand new trailer for it and everybody's like what is going on here you can't forget that they ended the show with arguably one of the best video game trailers of all time man breath of the wild was looking absolutely phenomenal there were no questions in anyone's mind about if this game was going to be good it was just perfect and we were just waiting for its release date and of course getting the date of the same day of switch and yes, it would be a launch title baby and everybody was just so excited. This was the best presentation of all time. A brand new 3D Mario, a brand new open world Legend of Zelda, and tons of other games sprinkled in. Not to mention Mario Kart 8 Deluxe wasn't even shown in this presentation, but would also release day one with Switch. Okay, I get it, so what am I yapping about here? Well, I feel like something is about to happen very soon, and there's actually now been reports of some big trailers that could be released soon as well. And I have a very interesting chunk of information that might confirm something happening soon. First, today's video is sponsored by Instant Gaming. Instant Gaming is an awesome website to hit up for quick and instant deals on select digital titles across all the consoles. Yes, you got your Xbox, PlayStation 5, and even Nintendo Switch, where you can get great deals on digital content. You can just click the drop down, choose your console, and find great deals on select digital games and even eShop cards and DLC packs. Whether you're just a fan of Nintendo games or any other platform, you will find some type of deal for you. So feel free to click the link in my description down below in order to go find some deals of your own. And once again, big thanks to Instant Gaming for sponsoring today's video. But yes, it looks like Nintendo is planning to have some type of presentation or some type of reveals very soon because it looks like they're actually gathering assets for trailers. Nate the Hate had a podcast and pretty much said like there's some expectations that he's having but nothing was really set in stone like this year is weird with the internal delay. It looks like yeah that the new Switch is going to be at the beginning of next year but along with that there is just one bit of information that they do believe that they have. Nate claims from his sources that he's heard that Nintendo has reached out to their partner studios and asked them for assets and lots of these assets are indeed 
trailers, or at least a lot of them are used for trailers, which is very interesting. So it seems like Nintendo is going to their other, you know, third party, first party partners and stuff and just asking for trailers, starting to build up what could be a big presentation coming very soon. Now let's just say that the Switch 2 is indeed coming at the beginning of next year. I know a lot of people are saying that Nintendo could actually go pretty deep into this year without even having to reveal this new console because, you know, they, they can. The Switch has been massively successful. They could wait until like the fall to reveal this thing. But something that I do want to mention is that you have to think about the games. The games are very, very important, if not the most important part for Nintendo. If they have a new console and no games, yeah, it's going to fail miserably. And I think that is one of the biggest reasons why they had the, you know, quote unquote, internal delay is because some of their games weren't ready. And that's what some of the reports are saying, that some of their first year games needed more time. But yes, they need to show off some games. Right now, there's nothing really huge to look forward to. It's just Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door and Luigi's Mansion 2. They need something to get people hype. And I feel like if they wait until all the way into the fall just to reveal this new console and then finally show off the games there, it's going to be way too long of a wait. So I feel like they need to have some type of just initial reveal of the console and then show off some games. And I feel like they could even show some games off during a normal Nintendo Direct, like maybe one of the big games coming to this new console. Remember, going into the Switch, we knew that Breath of the Wild was coming. That was like the one game that they would constantly show. They didn't talk about anything else really. It was like that Mario Kart and they showed a snippet of Mario Odyssey. So they need to show something. Cause right now, if there is a Switch 2 coming at the beginning of the next year, what the heck are we going to be playing on it? All we have is rumors to go off of. Apparently, there's going to be a huge open world 3D Mario game, the biggest 3D Mario ever. They need to show that very, very soon. And any other big games that could be coming alongside this new console. And I feel like that's exactly what Nintendo's getting ready to do, especially if they're asking for assets for big trailers. It tells me that there's a big event coming up. I mean, just think about some of the things that they could show off. Obviously, that 3D Mario, they could definitely show off Mario Kart 10 or whatever it's going to be because you know how long it's been since the last original Mario Kart. They could show off something Donkey Kong related. I mean, goodness gracious, we haven't had anything since a Tropical Freeze port from the Wii U. So it's definitely Donkey Kong time, 2D or 3D. Goodness gracious, this might be the perfect time to reveal Metroid Prime 4 now because it's been forever. Um, and there's tons of other like smaller scale games that I'm sure they're going to have along that first year as well. So I honestly can't wait to see what Nintendo's lineup is looking like because right now for the rest of this year so far it's looking pretty eh and there still could be a chance we could have a big Nintendo Direct next month in April or maybe even the month after that in May. It's hard to say but I just do not see there being you know any way Nintendo could go past the month of June and still haven't revealed like what the next big upcoming game is going to be or at least the first Switch 2 game or something Switch 2 related because it just feels weird to go all the way into the end of this year still not knowing what big games are coming. I mean, just riding off of Luigi's Mansion 2 and Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door, maybe some more like remakes and remasters, it's just not going to be enough to generate enough hype for Nintendo. They gotta have something for us to look forward to, especially if there's not going to be a normal huge holiday title this year. So I think this new Mario game is in fact going to be in the place of Breath of the Wild. I think it's going to be like the Switch 2's Breath of the Wild, a big, huge launch title as a huge, you know, new spin on a 3D Mario game and it's just going to be crazy it's going to be massive but you remember how long in advance they showed Breath of the Wild Mario is very different they never really have a long wait with Mario when they reveal Mario they know like this is the day that it's coming out so like there's not going to be any delays when they reveal this new Mario game I hope not but yeah that's what I'm thinking. We'll see. I think there's going to be reveals very soon, especially if Nintendo is gathering assets for trailers and stuff. Let me know what you think down below. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe to stay up to date on all things Nintendo all the time. And like always, I'll see you all on the next one. See you guys.